Well, hey y'all, it's Jen Mayer with thebluebonnethomestead.com. Today we're going to talk about small backyard gardening spaces. I also want to thank Emerging Green for collaborating with us on this video. I'm going to give you three practical steps to make the most out of your backyard space. The first step I want you to take is to embrace your space. There are a lot of advantages to having a small backyard. This is one of the many examples, but here the hose can reach directly from the house all the way out to our vegetable garden. It has this handy little sprinkler attachment that waters more than half of our plants out here. It takes no time to do this at all. Another obvious advantage to having a small backyard is the maintenance. You won't be spending as much time weeding and pruning and mowing the lawn. With all this extra time, you're free to explore and enjoy the great outdoors with your family. This is especially good if you have small children. I like to encourage my daughter to garden and get involved with the things that her mom and dad are doing. Step two, I want you to think practical and pretty. Actually consider the things that you actually use in your kitchen and grow those types of items in your backyard. You have a limited space, so you don't want to waste it on things that you're not going to use. The pretty things are more like flowers, bird baths, lawn ornaments, and birdhouses. These pretty things can actually serve a practical purpose as well. Flowers and birdhouses can attract hummingbirds and bees, things like that to help pollinate your garden, as well as get rid of pesky critters like cabbage worms. Another example of practical and pretty is an aloe plant. I actually think these plants are really pretty. They also serve a good purpose. You can use the innards of these plants to help soothe a sunburn. Step number three when you're thinking about your backyard space. I want you to think small. Think of anything you want in your ideal backyard, put it into reality on a smaller scale. For example, these Hastings bins with these tomato cages, they're smaller and they can help your food grow vertically so they don't take up as much space. And you can get plenty of vegetables out of this. Here's our small chiminea. No, we don't have a huge fire pit in our backyard, but we do have a fire source and we enjoy it a lot. Another great option for your small backyard space are these rotating composting bins. Back when we owned about four acres of land, we used to have this giant composting area in our yard. It was kind of a lot of work to have to rotate that with some pitchforks all the time, but these bins eliminate that process altogether. You can put your food scraps, eggshells, dead leaves, and twigs in the bins, rotate them, and let them sit for a while. Before you know it, you have really nutrient-dense soil to garden with. I personally think that our garden did really well this year because of this composting soil. Take a look at our cabbage this year as well as our lettuce, and you can see why. take this time to thank our video collaborator Emerging Green for providing this beautiful bird box. Emerging Green is a small family-owned business where 70% of their products are made from sustainable or recycled sources. This bird box design is sturdy and well-made. It was easy to install and easy to clean. The front door opens up easily and you can see inside there's plenty of room. There's a lever on the bottom left part where you can shut the door and lock it. The front door opening has two different gauge sizes. 
You can use a certain size gauge depending on the type of bird you want to attract. I like to think that the smaller gauge would attract birds like finches or chickadees, whereas the larger gauge might attract a bluebird. I hope this video gave you some practical tips on how to make the most of your backyard space. All of the products used in this video will be listed in the description box below. If you want to know more about Emerging Green and their small family business, I will leave a link in the description box below as well. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.